It's the kingpin ready to have some fun. Now what we talking about today? As always, before I get started, we gotta give away one of these wristbands. All you have to do is comment below and on my next video, I'll be giving away another one of these wristbands. So let's see who won this time. And the winner goes to James Edwards with comment, get her done. I'm guessing that was in reference to the Josh Allen starting week one, which I'll get right into that. But let's get on to this video. The season is upon us. We all finally know who our starting quarterback is. Nathan Peterman. That's for you, Rico. Hopefully he's able to lead us to the promised land, but we shall see. Now, what I will say is he did play well during preseason, very similar to what he did last season. So let's see if he was able to learn from his transgressions and move this offense forward this year. Now, with the season upon us, I can't have a quarterback video without at least giving Josh Allen a quick mention. I kind of want to just talk about what has happened so far during this offseason and during training camp because I still kind of question if Josh Allen even had a fair shot. How many first team reps did Josh Allen even have? Going back to OTAs, to mini camp, to even training camp. AJ McCarron and Nate Peterman were getting all the first team reps where they were just wanting Josh Allen to just sit with that third team, you know, practicing with and against 95% of the roster that's no longer on the team. So how well was he able to learn from that? Or was that the plan all along? And I do remember when he had a few reps very early in training camp with the ones, I think it was one series, and he was asked after practice, how did it feel getting reps with the ones? And he immediately said, oh, it's a lot faster. It's a lot faster. So would it have benefited him to get more reps with the ones? So it goes back to the question, was he really given a fair chance? Or was it AJ and Nate all along? Because all we do is get preached the process. Just trust the process. Since last season, that's been McDermott's motto. Just trust the process. But how can we trust the process that we have no idea what it is? Because when you have no idea what the process is, it's very easy for McDermott to do whatever he wants to do, good or bad, make good or bad choices, and always, you know, dangle that process out there. And say, yep, trust the process. It was probably a bad move, but they won't know. Trust the process. That's always been an issue that I had with the whole trust the process. Because what are we supposed to trust? What process are we supposed to be trusting? Like as far as Browns fans, Browns fans are probably pissed that Baker Mayfield's not the starter. And of course, you know, some are glad that Tyrod is the starter. But with Hugh Jackson, he made it well known what the process is. Tyrod's the starter. He's not dangling a trust the process. Now, is, is it the right move? Maybe, maybe not. But as far as fans, I think they would appreciate more if we actually knew what the process is. Instead of constantly trying to guess, was that part of the process? Was that part of the process? It gets frustrating after a while because we have no idea what's going on. And I think fans should at least appreciate some sort of dialogue as far as what the process actually is instead of continuously dangling that trust the process. But if you think about it, it's pretty clever from Sean McDermott. Why would I box myself in the corner? I'll just dangle that trust the process. They'll be okay, good or bad. They'll be okay. So enough about McDermott, enough about Josh Allen. Nate Peterman is the quarterback, and I wish this man all the best. And I hear a lot of fans say, yes, Nate Peterman needs to start, and then Josh Allen will come in 
week eight, week nine, week 10. And my response is why? Because if Josh Allen now comes in, it means that the Bills had a bad season or the Bills are having a bad season. Why would you want that? I'm personally hoping that Nate Prenderman plays the entire season because that tells me the Bills are having a solid season. So I don't want to put any bad juju on Nate Pruderman. I wish the man all the best. I hope he shuts down a lot of doubters. Could he be the next Case Keenum? A backup quarterback who, when given a legitimate chance, showed the world he's able to make it happen. We shall see. Week one against the Ravens. The season is here. Let's get it. So what do you guys think about the whole if Josh Allen really had a legitimate chance? What about this whole trusting the process and is nate peterman gonna lead us to the promised land leave your comments below let me know what you guys think and as always i'll see you next video